so in uh, today what i'm going to do i'm going to give you a, a small demo on uh, how to design an uh, d flip flop and uh, uh, subsequently i will uh, uh, <coughs> upload the assignment for you uh, which will be an application of uh, d flip flop right uh, so you can uh, make an uh, d latch okay uh, so uh, uh, d latch using uh, gates out here so gate level modeling uh, we learned right uh, so you can uh, define an uh, wire 1 wire 2 uh, internal nodes and you can uh, write an uh, this is an enable okay so whenever the enable signal is uh, high uh, so a uh, d will get reflected at q uh, and d bar will get uh, reflected at uh, q bar out here now the difference between an uh, latch and a uh, flip flop is uh, like whenever the enable signal is high uh, the d will be uh, transparent okay so this latch will be uh, transparent that means whatever uh, changes is happening at uh, d okay uh, everything would uh, get reflected out at uh, q okay uh, that is what a, a latch in in a flip flop what is the difference between a latch and a flip flop uh, in a flip flop uh, when the clock signal instead of an enable you have a clock signal uh, either during the positive edge flip flop uh, if for a positive edge flip flop it will be whenever the clock is going high uh, during that you know, uh, a small transition period whatever uh, is d that will be captured and and d and d bar uh, will be available as q and uh, q bar uh, but uh, when the clock is high if d uh, changes that will not be uh, reflected only during that uh, when the clock is going from uh, zero to high that is for a positive edge triggered flip flop for a negative edge triggered uh, whenever the clock is going from high to low so you can you can either have a positive edge triggered or a negative edge triggered uh, flip flop okay uh, so latch has got uh, their own uh, problems uh, you require one master and a slave flip flop uh, to make an uh, la master slave uh, master latch and a uh, slave latch to make a flip flop so design of uh, those things uh, you could uh, refer to the uh, digital design uh, classes okay uh, so uh, so this is what we can do a uh, gate level modeling uh, uh, to make an uh, d latch so this is the uh, code so i will upload the, the pdf so in ca in case uh, you are interested in making a latch then you can uh, use this uh, code okay uh, so but more than latch uh, what we will be interested in a uh, flip flop okay uh, so this is an uh, code for an uh, flip flop uh, so if you see here uh, it, till now we were talking about a uh, combinational circuits and in the combinational circuits uh, you had inputs and outputs okay uh, which were not uh, registers okay uh, here we are uh, defining the output as a uh, register okay so so that uh, the storage element is there here right so even if when uh, when d and uh, c is not there a q will be there uh, depending on whatever data was captured uh, so there is a storage element here so this output is is a register so you see the syntax which is used here output register q okay now uh, q, we are we, i have not catered for a q bar out here uh, if you want an q bar output also you can write output register q bar also so uh, right here i have not uh, catered for a uh, q bar out here okay now if you see here uh, since i am using a, a register i need to uh, uh, specify uh, uh, these kind of commands always uh, so whenever always means when does this register gets updated updated what is the condition which is required for this register to get uh, updated so you need to uh, specify that condition so that is uh, uh, told here in the uh, first sentence out here okay it says always at the rate positive edge clock that means whenever the clock is making a transition positive transition from 0 to 1 the register data will get updated and and, uh, uh, and, uh, and what would be the register data it says begin uh, q is to be assigned the value of d okay so what this program uh, means is you are going to make a d flip flop whenever the clock is going to make a and a positive edge from uh, 0 to 1 right and during that time the data uh, will be uh, captured okay d will be captured to uh, q okay and all other times uh, whatever whatever have, na, uh, when the clock is high if there is a change in d that will not get reflected as uh, q okay so only during the positive edge of the clock whatever is the value of d uh, that gets captured into q so uh, into q so this is a, a small uh, program which we can uh, right and uh, to implement a d uh, flip flop so this is the very log code corresponding very log code and now if you when we uh, write an uh, test okay at a, at a test module so there are certain changes out here also 
uh, so here we are initializing the inputs as uh, clock is equal to 0 initially uh, repeat it 9 times okay uh, 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 hash 100 means wait for 100 nanoseconds then a uh, clock is equal to clock bar right so what does this do uh, it gives me uh, 9 cycles of the clock with uh, 100 and uh, every 100 uh, nanoseconds now it is going to toggle from 0 to 1 clock is going to get inverted so 0 to 1 okay so if i see the time period of the clock it will be uh, 200 because for 100 time period it is going to uh, remain low and another 100 it is going to remain high so if i uh, talk about the uh, frequency it will be 1 by 200 uh, nanosecond right the frequency of the clock here is 1 by 200 nanosecond okay uh, so this is half the pulse width okay so it is going i i am just interested in nine clock pulse so i have given nine you you can uh, write here in a uh, uh, hundred also so that it will uh, no, you will get hundred clocks th in that particular case so i have just given nine out here okay so hundred uh, nine times uh, clock will change from zero to one uh, and it uh, and each of the state it will wait before doing a, a new transition it will wait for uh, 100 nanosecond so this is now i have set the uh, clock out here right now i just want to uh, you know, visualize you know, whether you know, data uh, whether this d flip flop works fine or not so i am telling initially d is zero okay and i change the data uh, and i am giving a different uh, uh, clock period out here uh, 225 and uh, d is also changing okay from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 okay and i'm just repeating it uh, six times so this is the kind of test bench okay we i'll show you the uh, corresponding uh, waveforms also after uh, doing the simulation okay so uh, many a times uh, we require uh, d flip flops with a reset also so for any uh, combinational design circuits uh, to uh, either uh, uh, suppose you have a modulo 9 counter right so when it reaches a uh, 10 you need to reset it back to 0000, zero, zero, zero right so you require a uh, reset uh, similarly initially to load uh, some data into a register so uh, you might want to you know, uh, use the reset pin so this is an a uh, program where log code uh, wherein a reset additional input also has been provided input d input in a clock and input reset and output is a register and now if you see here there are two conditions out here positive edge of the clock and the positive edge of the uh, reset okay uh, so begin if reset is equal to 1 then uh, q is a 0 okay so as long as reset is equal to 1 right so uh, but uh, for that uh, when does it trigger during the positive edge of the clock or the positive edge of the reset so as long as reset is equal to 1 now uh, q is going to be 0 uh, otherwise if the reset is 0 q is going to be uh, d out here so this is an uh, flip flop with a uh, reset out here right so this is an uh, test bench similarly you can write a test bench uh, for uh, giving a d so i have uh, inserted an and and an, uh, reset and uh, a uh, timing also out here so the, so at, at 350 uh, uh, nanosecond reset is going to be a one for 20 nanosecond again reset is going to be a zero so i'll uh, show you the simulation lead, uh, results out here then it will become uh, you will uh, appreciate what is uh, uh, happening out here uh, so let me uh, create it yeah okay uh, so uh, I had already uh, copied uh, these codes which we discussed here uh, so uh, let me uh, show that right so this is a uh, module uh, d, uh, 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 d flip flop input d clock output is uh, this is positive edge of the clock uh, q so le let's uh, uh, try and uh, implement the uh, test bench out here simulation so this is the uh, test bench so this is the uh, test bench right uh, uh, here like i said i am repeating the clock for uh, nine times and i am uh, repeating the data only for uh, six times and the clock i have uh, and i am changing from clock to clock bar uh, after every uh, 100 nano whereas at d i am uh, shifting with a uh, 225 nano uh, so if i run this I get this waveform out here. 
right so uh, uh, if you see here this is the clock is going uh, high out here right and uh, and uh, d was uh, zero here okay so that the output q is also zero in the next clock out here uh, d is one here right so it is making a transition to one now in between if you uh, note out here uh, the data is making a transition from zero to one out here right whereas q is not making because the clock has not come okay that is the difference between a latch and a uh, right in, in, in a flip flop okay whenever the clock edge is available positive edge of the clock only then the data will be captured at the output so here the d is changing out here itself uh, whereas this is uh, uh, coming here so hence the data is changing uh, out uh, here similarly uh, here again the next clock is going high here d is zero so output is getting uh, zero out here uh, here the clock is going high d is high it is going uh, high out here uh, here if you see here the clock is going from zero to one and data is coming from uh, one to zero okay uh, so while you are doing an uh, simulation just uh, avoid these kind of uh, conditions uh, because in all uh, practical circuits you will have to uh, and there is something known as setup time and hold time so the data needs to be you know, uh, settled uh, before the clock is coming okay uh, by a few uh, you know, uh, say a nanosecond or a picosecond uh, depends on the kind of flip flop we are using so that is known as a uh, setup time okay so there should not be any setup time uh, violations so uh, time being you, know, you 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 when you are designing a circuits you know, just avoid uh, these kind of uh, situations uh, so that you will learn in your advanced vlsi classes what is a setup time and so uh, generally uh, when the clock is going high the data needs to be uh, stable like in these conditions okay uh, so don't uh, uh, try to simulate something like this where uh, while that clock is going high the data is also making a transition right so you know, whether it would capture the previous data or the next data okay so that depends on the, uh, the setup time of the flip flop so you avoid uh, these kind of conditions otherwise uh, this is how an uh, flip flop uh, this would uh, work out here so if i uh, close this out here right uh, if i go to the uh, reset one so uh, now that uh, one more uh, uh, reset uh, 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 if i see the uh, reset code so uh, here i have now one more uh, input uh, reset is also one more uh, input so now if you see the uh, test page here uh, we have given the same uh, data here just inserted one more uh, reset pulse at 350 nano okay so we have inserted and uh, one more so if i uh, do the behavioral uh, run out here right so uh, if you see here what is happening okay uh, the first clock okay data is slave to zero the next clock data is one so it has gone to one but i am giving an a reset pulse out here right and since it is an a reset pulse this data q is going to zero here so if you see here if you go vertically whenever the reset has gone high the output has gone to low so this is how i can do an a reset of a signal right uh, again it is a zero here the next clock is going high it is zero here so it continues to remain zero here right again uh, it is not that it will automatically become one when you get the clock here now when the clock is going high what is the data at that particular time now since the data is zero the q is also uh, zero here uh, again the next clock here the data is one here now it is going to go uh, high out here okay so now i have explained you uh, two flip flops uh, one with reset and one uh, without a uh, reset okay i have not uh, put an a uh, q bar okay uh, so if you want an a uh, q bar uh, so accordingly uh, you can uh, modify the uh, 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 code out here right you can uh, uh, right uh, so uh, here uh, register q so you will have output register q bar also right and then uh, you can uh, simply uh, uh, probably uh, write uh, here right now uh, q is equal to na uh, d bar out here right or you can give an uh, q bar is na uh, q bar is inversion of q you can uh, do it uh, that way also so you can input in, include one more uh, variable out here and uh, q bar and you can uh, write q bar is inverted uh, of uh, q okay but uh, remember a uh, q bar also should be a uh, register out here okay only then it would function so uh, most likely the design example which i am going to uh, give you uh, you might uh, require a q bar also okay so i have uh, given you enough uh, uh, 
uh, hint out here you may not an, uh, require an uh, reset uh, one uh, for the uh, because I'm going to give a uh, simple uh, example uh, a simple assignment uh, without uh, a requirement of an uh, reset so you can you can modify this program to insert an uh, a Q bar also and accordingly uh, implement it so uh, by uh, today or tomorrow I'll uh, upload the assignment so you can uh, uh, this, this this particular video and the document also I'm going to uh, upload it so accordingly uh, you can uh, uh, attempt your uh, assignments and uh, submit wi uh, within uh, two weeks time uh, okay uh, thanks a lot so we'll uh, stop it here for uh, today